Hey, today I'm going to show you how to do a gorgeous, rich beef stew, which is perfect for them days when you want to get out. As you know, we've been away in Dorset for a, a week or so now, 10 days, something like that. Um, so we're back, we haven't gone into the shops yet, we're on limited supply, so this is perfect for using the, uh, the leftovers in the fridge. We're going to be using some diced beef, fresh out of the freezer, freezer it's defrosting as we speak, you don't have to worry for that, uh, to, about that getting fully defrosted because it's going to be going into the slow cooker and heating slowly, it'll be perfect, it's going to be done over a long time. British white cabbage, a couple of onions, three carrots, salt pepper, some stock and some leftover spinach that we had in the fridge but didn't use. So that was put into the freezer. So I've just dug that out. Um, all this will go in and probably a tin of chopped tomatoes as well. And that will bubble away for a number of hours. Probably six to eight hours, something like that. Okay, so that's the veg and the beef sorted. So uh, we'll fire them in. And the beef as well. You can see the beef is still frozen into blocks but that might be a problem because it'll soon soon warm up all you need to do is make sure you take the uh, the baker off and uh, yeah now we'll uh, move on to the wet stuff okay so first generous amount of pepper a little bit of salt but not too much because obviously you don't want to put too, too much sodium in okay Told you I'd put all the uh, the dry ingredients in. I'd forgot to put the spinach in, so that's gone in now. It'll all be mixed in a minute, but yeah, the spinach is in there. Okay, right. You've seen we've got the beef in, we've got the carrots, we've got the cabbage, we've got the onion in. All the dry ingredients are in there, which is fantastic. We're going to go with the wet stuff now. Okay, so we've got the 600 mils of uh, a nice rich beef stock. Uh, we're going to put the chopped tomatoes in. We've got some uh, salt and pepper to go in. Um, one thing I didn't mention earlier is we're also going to put some nice rich red wine in, okay? A good slug of red wine just to give it a bit of extra body, just to uh, really bring the flavours out. As I said, two stock cubes in, and we're going to be putting 600 mils of boiling water into that. Make sure you've got the jug the right way around, otherwise you can't tell where 600 mils is. Okay. You can st still see the cubes in there, give it a good stir until they've dissolved. It's not too critical that you lose every last lump because it's going to go into the into the pot and bubble away. But you, what you don't want is a big lump of it just sat in the stew, not dissolving. Right, so we've got the tomatoes, one tin straight in. There's no finesse about this whatsoever. We've got the stock straight over the top with the remnants of the stock cube which hadn't melted and the red wine. Uh, doesn't really matter what. Um, nice full body wine is good. We took a couple of glasses out of this and then recorked the bottle so we can use it as uh, for cooking. Nice generous slug of that. Don't forget to recork it so you've got it next time you want to use it. Okay. So like I said, all that's left to be done now is to put the top on and to turn it on. Like I say, I'm going to go for high now because it's only going to be on for uh, probably four or five hours. But usually I put it on low for about eight, eight hours, ten hours. I have left these on uh, by accident. We decided to stay away when we were out walking one day. Uh, we left it on overnight, so it was on for about 24 hours. The, the lamb inside at the time tasted absolutely delicious, uh, but we were a little worried that it was going to be um, burnt to a crisp. But yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, that's really all there is to it. Uh, we'll let that bubble now for a few hours. It'll be lovely when we come back and ready to go. Probably when we get back, we'll uh, chuck something with it. I might do some mashed potato. I might do some roast potatoes. I might boil some potato. I might do a couscous. Could do pasta. Could do rice. If it's very liquidy, if the um, the gravy in there is still quite runny, you can always chuck rice in with it or the couscous in with it to soak it all up. 
You can put the potatoes in at the beginning if you want, but I don't like the consistency particularly. They soak up all the flavour, but they're a bit too soft for my liking. Uh, so we'll probably we'll have a look at it when we come back. Obviously, I'll show you uh, what that looks like before we uh, before I do. Uh, but for now, that's all done. That's going to bubble away. We're going to go for a walk. We'll take the boy out. We'll film another blog, which I'll show you later on in the week. Um, and I'll show you the result in a short while. Thank you. OK, we're back in from the walk. It smells fantastic. I wish you could smell what I can. It's a gorgeous, real, uh, um, it's almost a wintry smell. Um, walking back into the house to be greeted by a fresh cooked meal is, is the way forward. OK, so this is what we've got. That smells immense. That uh, top coming off there, all the, all the goodness. Look at that. I'm going to let it bubble for another hour or so. I'm going to let it bubble for another hour or so. I'm going to chuck some some taters in the oven to uh, to roast off, and that'll be our meal. Okay, so I'm going to peel these, cut them up into reasonably small pieces so they don't uh, they don't, don't take as long to to roast. Fry them in here, which I'll heat it up to 200 degrees C. A bit of uh, pepper, a bit of salt. Fire them in the oven. And that'll take probably 45 minutes to an hour. I'd like them to be nice and crispy on the outside. There you go, ready for the oven. Uh, once these are cooked, I'll, um, I'll serve it all up and show you what it looks like. There's your end result. Beef stew, roast potatoes, and top left-hand corner, I'm sure Paul will indulge in a, uh, a glass of red wine to go with it. There you go, guys. Quick food blog. Appreciate the, uh, the last one was far too long. I lost interest after a while, but it was my first attempt. This one much shorter, much to the much more to the point. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, perfect little meal, ready for uh, at the end of your day's activities. Hopefully it tastes good. Hopefully you uh, you try the recipe and you enjoy it. Look forward to seeing you back on the channel. Um, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe on YouTube for the uh, regular updates. Uh, we've got Trail Trials on Facebook. Please like, comment, share with your, your friends on Facebook. We're also at Trail Trials and at Instagram. At Trail Trials on... Let me just try that again. At Trail Trials on Twitter and at Trail Trials on Instagram. Thank you very much. Until next time, get out and find your own trail.